I've almost achieved the ultimate goal of my coding career. Finishing this silly game. I've been at this for 69 years. I just want to be done. All those puzzles I've been tasked with over the span of my career are done. Both of the optional challenges, the green lights, are done as well. The code I've written runs as fast as possible and is as short as possible. However, there are still two stupid levels which I just couldn't finish. Let's take a look at data backup day. Ah, shit. Okay, what's the goal here? So each of these workers has a cube on either side. Now, if I run the code and pause it, you see that these cubes have random numbers on them. What they're supposed to do is take a look at these numbers, take the cube with the bigger number and write the smaller number on that cube and place them back down. So that's the puzzle. So this person sees a 1, 89 and he should write the 1 on the 89 and put it back down. So let me run it again and yet yeah, there you go, he writes a 1. That's the level completed. However, and look, only takes three seconds. But the problem was, and I just couldn't figure it out, that we need to do this in eight commands. And my best was nine commands. Now, as per usual, I'm just gonna take this empty slot and write this thing from scratch, not even looking at my previous solution. And maybe I can just do it first try. So, my dear people, I want you to look at your data cubes. And if the data cube on the left side is lower than the data cube on the right side, I want you to remember what the value on the left side was, because that's the smaller number and you're gonna want to write it on the larger data cube. Then maybe let's also set in memory two the larger data cube and in the else branch, we're gonna do the same thing, but the other way around. So memory one would be the right side and memory two would be the left side. That's six commands and we can freaking use only two. Yeah, not gonna happen. But anyway, what you're supposed to do is pick up the bigger of the data cubes, which is in memory two, right? Then you need to write what's in memory one on the data cube, so the smaller number, and you drop the cube again. Let's see whether this works at least. Yes, yeah, seems to be working. Yes, that's great. Three seconds, nine commands. That's not good. Now the task says that we're supposed to place them back on the floor where they started. I'm just gonna check it and remove the drop command. Yeah, didn't work. Complaining. Okay, so let's put the drop back in. And this is clearly shit. So what if I don't set memory two as the data cube you're supposed to pick up and overwrite, but instead say pick up right side. So don't set it in memory two and then pick up, but simply pick it up straight away. And the same thing we're gonna do right here. So pick up the left side and remove. So remember the smaller number, pick up the other data cube and then write the number and drop. Let's see, yes, yes, no. <laughs> oh shit. I honestly, I just thought that this was gonna be the shortest episode ever, like a three minute video. Okay, never mind. The problem is that when they pick up like the data cube on their right side, they don't step there as well. And then they drop it on the ground, but they need to drop it on the spot where the data cube originally was. So instead of setting memory two, I could just say, pick up what you're standing on. And here we would step. So step right and step left, which is essentially exactly the same as what I had before. Does it work at least? Uh, yeah, it works. Okay, great. Still too many commands, obviously. Oh, uh, oh, look at that. It's faster. Two seconds and not three. Nice. What I actually think is that the people are like way too annoyed at this puzzle because they're just taking ages, you know, too many commands. So they're frustrated. So I think that after they, you know, write stuff on the data cubes, I think they've just had enough. Let's take a look. Pick up the largest cube, write the number and just throw themselves into those infinite holes. That's a shame. So the problem clearly is... <gasps> Wait, I've got it. <laughs> yes, I've got it. My thought process, okay? We need this pick up, write and drop. That's for sure. So those are these three commands. And obviously we need this if else branch. That's six. 
but we need to remove one and it has to be here. This one of these commands has to go. And I realized we might not need the else branch. So what if we initialize it? I, let me show you. I need to put those steps away and in memory two, it's going to be the right side. And here in memory two, it's going to be the left side. And then you pick up memory two. OK, so that's what we had originally, right? Now, what if I remove the else branch and say initialize the values like that? So imagine that the right side is actually the smaller number. So remember it, you're going to write it later. And the left side is the larger data cube. You're going to pick it up later. Now, if that's not the case and it's the other way around, set it the other way around. And then you have the right things in memory one and two and you can write it and drop it. Let's see. It has to work. Come on. Yes. Yes. Taking them ages. Oh, but it worked. It worked. Nicely done. So let's see. Eight commands out of eight. And oh, and it was actually really slow. Well, that's a shame. Not much I can do. But that actually means both of these optional challenges are completed. Two green lights. That's magnificent. So maybe it was a record video. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> but maybe it's the shortest video after all. And fucking accidentally pressed this. Shitting hell. I'm just so excited that it worked. Come on, let me see the level. And which one it was actually? Yeah, data back update. I wanted to run the code again, for fuck's sake. So obviously some of these people, four of them usually, like half of them, um, have figured it out wrong and they trigger this if statement. Meaning they take a bit longer to execute the stuff, which is why it suddenly takes four seconds. And I don't think there is a way to complete both of these optional challenges at once. But it doesn't really matter because we are really close to finishing the game right now.